The year was 1989. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles ruled Saturday mornings. The director of Beetlejuice created the first great superhero movie. And Sega was poised to create a successor for their failed first initial foray into the gaming market, the Sega Master System. Released in 1986, each system came packed in with their first attempt at a mascot platform game, Alex Kidd and Miracle World, trying to capitalize on the success of Super Mario on the Nintendo and try to create a brand that they could market to children. It was met with critical acclaim. Nintendo's strict licensing restrictions stopped the Sega Master System from ever getting off the ground. They released a follow-up, Alex Kidd and the Lost Stars, which was also released in the arcade. It was graphically upgraded and it added a secondary character named Stella. Its success in Japan led to a spin-off game, Alex Kidd BMX Trials, which is a completely different game where you rode a bicycle over obstacles. The next official release, Alex Kidd in High Tech World, as a Master System was really starting to die out, received less success and less critical acclaim. The follow-up console was right around the corner in mid-1989. The Sega Genesis, a much more powerful console that they hoped would carve a dent out of the giant monolith that was Nintendo. So in this episode of Doc Mockery Gaming, we break the walls down on Alex Kidd's debut on this Genesis console. Will we be dancing with Dr. Feelgood? Or be just another Milli Vanilli? This doe-eyed failed Sega mascot draws us in like a prayer as we try to tackle Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle. Alright, let's get started. Rookie Town sounds easy enough. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one. I guess it's time to bet my life against a bald gorilla in shorts. I love the animation, but did they really have to kill him with a giant ass weight? Alright, let's try door number two. A little expensive for me right now, I guess it's time to go find some more money. Oh, what the heck, that didn't even touch me. Well, let's try this TR out. Well, that's cool, I could blow up cars with a sonic boom. Alright, I think we're ready for this pogo stick. I read that in the Japanese version, instead of a giant weight, they just strip you naked with a fig leaf over your parts. Usually their perspective of America, they would prefer violence over nudity, I guess. I'm gonna get all the money now, let's go. Let's try door number three. $500, how the hell would you even get that amount at this point in the game? Yeah, I think not. Apparently we're collecting rice balls. That fights people to the death in rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Wish I could get a motorcycle for 50 bucks. How's it cheaper than a pogo stick? Let's see what's in these black boxes. Alright, that's what's up. Denied the unicycle Pope mobile. All right, let's try this again. At least they have dope items so far. Yay, water level. Not sure what this cape does, but it looks cool, so I guess I'll take it. At least the swimming isn't terrible.
Well, let's see if this giant annoyed looking fish has any money. Get in the bag. Thanks for the money, underwater rock heart. Hopefully your giant red octopus friend doesn't kill me. These ball tentacles seem to be a little hard to take down. There we go, direct hit. Not afraid to wear two capes, just saying. Could this be another extra life? Let's find out. Apparently not, damn. Hold on, gotta get the bag first. All right, Scorpion Desert, Onigiri number four. Hopefully I don't get stung or set on fire. Well, let's see what's up here. Oh my, how'd that not get edited out? Holy smokes. Anyway, let's try this magic wand out. Damn, I guess all you can do is float and shake uncontrollably. Jeez, it doesn't last very long. Alright, let's try this again. Well, maybe it'll help us cut through the level a little bit. So far, so good. Damn it. Might be a job for the crotch rocket. All right. Have you ever seen a bug in your life that can make a motorcycle explode by stabbing it? Yeah, me neither. Crushing mummies never gets old, and neither does collecting money. Yeah, that's bait. Seems like a lot of platforms are impossible to get to without items in this game. And more bait. Looks like I boxed myself in. You can get me today, buddy. A secret shortcut with all the loot. Let's go. Well, damn, I guess you did. Well, that was a whole lot easier. Give me that rice ball. All right, let's see what's inside this pyramid. Lots of treasure, all right. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Not getting me today. Stupid bombs. I guess I spoke too soon. I have no idea what this does, but let's roll with it. Apparently nothing. All right.
The other one can't possibly be bombs. Ah, damn it. Why does she have such giant hands? They're bigger than her head. Well, that was a bit harsh. All right, let's try this again. I still think that one-eyed teddy bear is a poor judge, just saying. Hell no. Give me that rice ball. Mini Jason Voorhees, what are you doing here? At least this game has a solid variety of enemies. Damn, they're coming from all over. See ya. You need an item to open this. It has to be something decent. It can't possibly be more bombs. Wow, seriously? Well, second time's a charm. Let's do this. Ah, damn it. Are there any actual bosses in this game, or is it all rock, paper, scissors? Digging his little dance, though. Got me dancing along. The barnyard seems very entertaining. Thanks for the rice ball, dancing hamster man. Tropics Town. I'm freezing in New York right now. That's the place I would like to be. Give me that pogo stick, eight man. Oh, lovely. At least I didn't get run over. Seems to be one of the few items that doesn't run out. So I'm just going to bounce around and get paid. Well, that was easy. Rock Mountain. Where the heck did this old man come from? It does look a bit like modern Rob Halford. I can see this getting frustrating. Yeah, they seem to be hard to time and psych out. What now? Doesn't seem to be impossible. Let's go. I 
Oh, come on. Seriously? I guess I just got to try to find a way out. Ah, oh, damn it. I love how my life is worth $200. Everyone loves rock on Rock Mountain, apparently. I'll take that Pope Mobile off your hands. There we go. Time to fly through this level. Let's go. Yeah, never mind. Always coming out of nowhere. To the sky! Well, this looks like it's gonna be fun. Seriously brings you to the beginning of Rock Mountain 2 when you die? That's ridiculous. Could this music be any more off key? work for nothing. It barely touched me. All right, let's try this again. All right, we'll just sneak around the entire level through the top. No big deal. Wait a minute, dead end? Am I just stuck here in this box of sky? These red dots have to lead somewhere. They're conspicuous right in the middle of the level. Apparently back down to Rock Mountain number two. Not falling for it this time. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Never been so happy to collect a rice ball. I'm guessing this is the enchanted castle from the title. Okay, let's get this treasure. Okay, just one more try. We got this. Maybe you just gotta bounce 50 times beforehand. Get a little head start. Nope. I 
I'm not a bug and I'll kick you in the face, lizard. Just saying. Something good for a change, at least. I figured it out already. Let's get that second extra life. Oh, that sucks. Goodbye, pogo stick. That's just cold-blooded. Money disappears too fast for these awkward jumps. Screen looks easy enough. Let's get this money. You gotta be kidding me. You drop me all the way back here? To the most annoying sound in the world. Seems easy enough. Let's crush these robots. Did a whole lot of nothing. Except kill me, apparently, for hitting a spot that's not even a spike. Seems like a dead end, but at least there's some treasure. Oh, that's dirty. They keep messing with you, damn. Apparently you can't bounce off the side of them, even with a running start. Okay, let's try the Pope Mobile. Wow, the whole thing exploded from barely scraping a corner. Come on, almost got it. I don't even care, at least I made it across. Seems like a dead end pit of reptiles. Okay, took them out. Now what the heck do I do? See if I go through the top. Nope. Okay, apparently down here. I'll take one last gorilla battle. Apparently these rocks aren't working up here. I'm gonna have to switch it up. Two black boxes, one of them's got to have an extra life. Oh, that was grimy. It's like a perfect spot to bust out this cape. Not crushing me with skulls today, buddy. Okay, final rock, paper, scissors battle. You're going down, cat genie. 
Sorry to my friends with epilepsy. I'll try to make this quick. For real? Two in a row? Come on to your game. You could have 20 arms. Wow, an actual boss fight? Damn, I can't even get close to him. Even when you do, there's nothing you can really do. Must be an item somewhere that you have to use. Alright, back to the drawing board. Wow, it's 1,000 now? Damn, Ape drives a hard bargain. Thank God I got it on the first one. I don't know how many times I could have done that. Not wasting the cape this time. Felt that on the top of my hair. I just barely got it. Alright, Cat Genie. I'm on to your game. Yeah, go cry to mama, bitch. This Monkey King father looks a little like Mario, just saying. What a rotten ending, holy crap. So I went through all this for nothing? Well, at least everyone lived happily ever after. Yay. In spite of the 16-bit upgrade, the awkward controls and the bizarre concept were no match for the NES offerings that year like Castlevania 3 and Mega Man 2. And one giant looming cloud on the horizon. Alex Kidd did last for one more game in a cutesy version of the arcade hit Shinobi called Alex Kidd and Shinobi World in his old stomping grounds of the Master System. While Alex Kidd proved to be stuck in the Master System controls and tropes, young developers at Sega were devising a new plan. In late 1990, a young developer named Yuji Naka veiled a new concept for a mascot platformer using every last bit of the 16-bit power of the Genesis, which would propel them to beat Nintendo four consecutive Christmas seasons in a row and still is on to this day in an upcoming feature film. But all was not lost for Alex Kidd, as his old pal Sonic would bring him back 20 years later in the Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing franchise in 2010. While he may not have been a success, you couldn't tell the story of Sega without him, but some of the concepts still live on to this day in games like Shantae and Wonder Boy. If you like this video, hit the like button, karate chop the subscribe button, and if you want to help the cause, Karate Kick the PayPal link down below in the description. Thanks for watching, everybody. There's more exciting gaming content coming very soon.